back to my channel so today I decided to do like a bit of a little vlog because I'm only going to school for half the day because we have early dismissal and I'm going to a book fair during third class and fourth so I'm only going to school for dance and for math and then I'm leaving during lunch and the game plan for today is I'm getting to school I'm gonna go on the PA system today Spoiler alert, I did not go on the PA system today. I went a different day because the person who was supposed to write the announcement forgot to write the announcement. And then dance math, and then at lunch, I have hip hop troupe, and then I'm gonna walk back home, and my dad's gonna drive me to this like huge book fair. There's like over 30,000 books. This is my second year going. It's honestly the best thing ever. So here's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this jacket from Zara Kids. Then I have this Brandy Melville necklace and this Brandy Melville t-shirt and these dance bolero leggings and then my fake Uggs from Costco. So I literally have like nothing to do in school today considering it's, I have just dance and math and like I don't really do much in any of those classes so it's pretty chill day. I guess it's another video. Yeah. <laughs> school vlog number, what is it, three? Yeah. I can remember my We lock have just created an innovative design for safeness here. Three locks, locks and one. one. Yeah. Well, if you just unlock this one, then that one automatically comes off. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> there's no fun in that. Art. It's an innovative, abstract, New, modern um, art piece. What is it? Picasso or something? Picasso? Picasso. Did you say Picasso? Picasso? Yeah, or something? Picasso. Oh, what How'd you say Picasso? I'm tired, okay? So Victoria kind of forgot her locker combo. So continuing on, the lock still won't open. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just choke on the chicken? I tried to drink while walking. First world struggles. So I'm done with dance now. I'm going to math class now. So I just left school. Um, I went to hip hop and it was fun. We didn't get much done, but it was fun. So what I think I'm going to do when I get home is do a bit of my math homework. It's about 11.30, so I have a bit of time before my dad gets back from work and takes me to the book fair. Then my friend, Ashley, she's meeting up with me at the book fair at 2. And Kira, she's coming at 3.30. Yeah, I'm going to be alone for there for like the first hour or so. That's fine. Oh yeah, I'm do going to this book fair and I guess I missed my history test, so I'm pumped. The other day, we made a bunch of cookies. There are only two of them. It's so sad. It's just so sad. So I'm going to have this. These are so good. I think I'm going to grab myself some chocolate as well. Because, like, why not? It's so freezing cold in my room. I literally, like, all I want to do is literally just hide in my blanket and never come out. So. So, you know what? I'm going to put on a little fashion show for you guys. Because, you know, blankets are so versatile. And they can be worn with anything at any time. Fancy, casual, sleep. You name it, a blanket can do it. Feeling good, like I should. Winning the 
The challenge, all you gotta do is leave it better than you found it. It's gonna get difficult to stand, but hold your balance. I just say whatever, cause there is no way you're round. Everyone, uh, no. so we're at the book. I've been here for like two and a half hours. It's sad. Be goofy. Kira's gonna come here soon. I found Lynn. So, yeah, it's been fun. Tiring. I'm kind of done. My head hurts and I literally want to go home, but I don't want to go home Ashley at the same time. Ashley left. There's like a ton of books. They haven't opened the adult section yet though, so I have to wait till they do that. Got that sunshine on my Sunday best. Some days you wake up and nothing works, you feel surrounded Gotta give your feet some gravity to get you grounded Keep your things inside your ears just like the waves and sound it And just say whatever cause there is no way you're grounded Everyone I'm so dead Okay, so I am extremely tired It is like almost 8 o'clock I have a test tomorrow that I have to study for and I was at the book fair for literally six hours. Six hours. Yeah, I know. I think this is where I'm gonna end it for today. And then continue tomorrow. So this part of the video was supposed to be filmed right after I got back from the book fair on Thursday. But after being in the book jungle fiesta for six hours, it caused me to enter a five day post book fair haze. Like I literally don't remember what happened over the past five days. It's been a blur completely. The book fair was covered. It was like the Black Friday version of a book fair on steroids. To be frank, I don't know how I made it out alive. So now it's time for the part of the video that some of you probably have been waiting for, which is the book haul. And I got a lot of books. I'm pretty sure I got about 30 books. And I'll be telling you guys the original price of the book and the price that I paid for. So let's get started. Oh, and all the prices that I'm going to say are all in Canadian dollars. So first off, I got a few art books because I'm starting to get into painting and stuff. And I didn't want to pay, you know, like $60 for a book from a museum. So this was a much better option. The first art book that I got is this one. It's called Renoir's Landscapes. And this one is actually, I think, from the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa. As you can see, the galleries that they are from are listed there. And this book is valued at $85.38. So I only paid $2 for this, which is a much, much better deal. And it's basically like a new condition. The second art book that I got is this Monet book. I really like Monet's art. So next, this is the book that was worth the most money out of all the ones that I got, but I'm getting the price off of Amazon because it's not sold anywhere else at the moment. And it is the animation a book by Warner Bros. And it has like all like the characters and like all this like information about like the animators and stuff. And I think it's a really like cool book. I'm also into animation a bit. Next, I got this book by Ben Babalofsky. I don't know who that is, but um, what I found cool was the book is actually signed by the artist. His art is kind of, I don't know, I kind of find it like really like nice. It was only a buck. Next, I got this for no apparent reason. It's the making of Jurassic Park. I just saw it in the kids section. I don't think it was supposed to be there because it's not really like for kids. But it like shows the whole process that they did for filming it, like all the green screen stuff, all the special effects, like everything they did. So I just got that for fun. That was a book. So moving more to chapter books. I got this a book. I, I've already read this book. It's called Shooter by Caroline Pignat. And I actually know this person because she's, I don't know if she's still a teacher at my school, but she 
was a teacher at my school. And it's a really good book. It's about uh, these four seniors uh, getting uh, stuck in a bathroom uh, together during a lockdown. But the lockdown turns out to be real and there's a shooter in the school. So I don't know. I just found it a really good book to read. Next, I decided to get the first three Hardy Boys books because I love Nancy Drew books. You know, I'm still a child. I'm still going to read those. So I decided to give these a try because they were only a dollar each and they're in brand new condition and everything. So I thought, why not, you know? So the first one is The Tower Treasure. Then we have The House on the Cliff and The Secret of the Old Mill. Talking about Nancy Drew, I got four Nancy Drew books. The first one that I got is Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Fiery Chamber. Next, I got Nancy Drew, The Clue on the Crystal Dove, The Hidden Window Mystery. And lastly, I got The Clue of the Broken Locket. And I like these. They're like the older version of Nancy Drew books. And like before the book fair last year, I've never like seen these. And I don't know, they just kind of look old and cool and vintage, you know? Those were each a buck also because all like the kids books were a dollar. So great deals, you know? Next, I just got some random books. So I got this book. It's called The Silver Sword. It's also a kids book but I don't care. Fight me. If you have a problem with me reading kids books, suck my left toe. Next, I got the Nazi Hunters and I just thought this was interesting because it has something to do with the like secret agents, spies, and the Nazis and the World War II, so I don't know. Next, I got this book. It's called Killing Lincoln, The Assassination that changed America forever. I, for some reason, am interested in the assassinations of presidents. And I already read a book about the assassination of Kennedy, so I thought this was a good companion, you know. Next, I got some Harry Potter stuff. So I got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And this book, I wanted this book, but, like, I'm not gonna go and pay $40 for it at Chapters because I thought that was... You know, just a bit much, you know? Next, I got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Then I got The Tales of Beetle the Bard. I don't know what this is about, but I think it's also like a companion book to Harry Potter. So I had to grab that. This book I found after like three hours of already being there and scanning the place like seven times. So this is like a Beauty and the Beast book. I thought this was like pretty cool. My friends actually wanted to get this book, but I saw it first. Haha, <laughs> suckers. Next, I just got some like fun little books for no apparent reason. They were only a dollar. So first I got this Me To Wee book. It's called My Grandma Follows Me On Twitter and Other First World Problems We're Lucky To Have. So each page is like a different first world problem. And it's by Craig and Mark Kielberg, the founders of Me To Wee. Next, I got two Simpsons books. It has like a ton of little like fun facts and stuff inside. So I got this one and then I got the Homer book. Next, I got two sets. So the first one is this D-Day one. It's the D-Day experience and it comes with a CD and everything. And it has like little, you know, pull out things and like maps that fold out and stuff. I like those books because they're kind of like interactive and it's it makes it more fun to learn about history. Next, I got this Leonardo da Vinci one. Um, I don't think this is much of an art one. I think it's more like the science and stuff. It has like drawings and other stuff in there. Next, as you know, I love American Girl, American Girl dolls and everything. So I always check the kids section for American Girl books. But this year there wasn't that much as last year, but I did pick up three American Girl books. So the first one is Brave Emily. I've already read this book, but I thought I'd add it to my collection. Next, I haven't, I've seen it online before, but not in person. It's Lainey's Real Adventure. And next, I've never seen this one at all, like online or anything. It's the one of the, one of the American Girl histor history mysteries. And I, like these haven't been on the shelves, I think for a very long time. It's called Mystery on Skull Island. I already have one history mystery. So the total of that day's book fair haul was about $33. That's good for like all those books. And do you wanna know the original price of what I would have paid for in total of all those books combined? Drum roll please. <laughs> Six hundred and sixty-six dollars 
and 84 cents. The number 666 is also the devil's number, so, so clearly the devil is trying to recruit me into his gang. On Friday, I went back to the book fair again. I got three books this time. So the first one, I got The Daily Artist by, uh, it's a creative journal by Mark Johns. And I'm so excited by this book. It's one of those like drawing prompt books, but it's like a really nice and colorful one. And I've always wanted one of these. I love it. Next, I got Monet and Renoir and the Impressionist Landscape. I like Impressionism, so I thought this was a good art book. And finally, I have this Renoir book. I don't know why I got this. I'm also questioning as to why, because there's a ton of naked pictures in here. And, I mean, I'm just not a fan. I forgot also to say that when I was checking out, I was able to pick out a free bookmark and I checked out twice. So I got two free bookmarks and these are so cool. They're actual like Egyptian souvenirs, like they're papyrus, I think, and they're made in Egypt. I find it so cool because like now I have a souvenir from Egypt, you know, and then I saw this one as well. I don't, I think this one was probably by the same person too. It's also papyrus. I don't know if that's how you say it, but you know, do I care? No. Pretty dope, you know? So I hope you guys like this video. I know the haul was a bit lengthy. I'm slowly trying to get better at editing and filming, so still bear with me as I try to figure this whole like YouTube thing out. I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm trying to post every week, so stay tuned. Hit that post notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, feeling good, like I should